Hey guys, my name is Dave. Welcome to another video. So, as you can see behind me, room is kind of a mess still. Kind of is an understatement, but meh. Looking at it actually made me think of something that I've experienced kind of personally. Now, everything I say in this video, please take with a grain of salt. The re Well, not a grain of salt, but remember that what I say does not apply to every single person who falls under the category that's being discussed. Whether you're looking at the title of the video or not. OCD individuals, not those who claim to be OCD, I mean those who are actually medically di diagnosed with it. Are individuals who know how to organize this kind of stuff probably more than anyone else because they do it literally all the time. A good example of this would be my fiance. Very soon to be wife, so I'm just going to call her that. Pink Fox is actually someone who has this circumstance. And it's actually very beneficial. I've learned that it's best since I do not have it, and I'm not even going to claim that I have the kind of OCD that people, like, over-exaggerate, the over-exaggerated type OCD that's really just people bo getting bothered by cleanliness, not actual OCD. Because it's not the same thing. I'm not even going to try to claim that kind of thing. Does the messiness bother me? Well, yes, but the fact of the matter is there are certain organ organizing plans that are going to be laid out, which is the reason it is the way it is. I do not... Pers this is personal opinion, and I had to point this out to Pink Fox. This is why the room is still the way it is. Trust me, she has made it clear that this kind of thing actually does bother her. And that's fine. It bothers her way more than it bothers me. It still does bother me to a degree, but I digress. I had to say, I had to point out that it might be wise to wait until the dresser that we are planning to, or we were offered to use, that'd be the more uh, accurate description, is brought in. Once that's brought in and placed, that's when I recommended that we actually organize everything else, because then we can put clothes into the dresser, clearing out a lot more space on its own. Like, the room right now, all over the place. And outside of describing what I was just talking about, the thing is, I pointed this out because I actually do want to talk about individuals who are legitimately medically OCD. Now, there are pros and cons to this. Way more pros than cons. In fact, I can only really think of one con. And that con is that you don't want to get in their way or they'll get pretty dang frustrated. Keep in mind, I was doing this by the way, I forgot to raise my hand. Bear in mind, this does that statement, that claim does not apply to everyone. Like Pink Fox. Pink Fox doesn't get that way. She's actually very calm with me. But by the time I met by the time I met Amber, I already knew it's wise to stay out of their way out of her way unless she asks for help up front. Which, for this circumstance, she actually did do. Specifically for the item that is mainly covered, but this thing, the thing the boxes are sitting on top of, that's sitting on top of a shoe shelf, which you can kind of see the corner of right here. Um, she wanted my help to bring that in and put it somewhere. Originally, the I think her I well, the, the interpretation I got was not where it is. I will say that that's why 
I was like, you know, I, I don't, I kept trying to say, look, I don't know what you're saying. She said, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll do it. At first, it sounded like irritation when she started that statement, but when she said the whole thing, she wasn't. She was just, he, she was starting to heat up because of the temperature outside, and it, that was getting to her slightly, but she, in mind, she wasn't frustrated. She wasn't angry. She wasn't irritated. She was actually very calm with me about it. But that's the thing. Originally, there's a so the desk I'm doing this on is kind of, it's multiple desks, technically, creating kind of like an L shape. The, the idea I was reading off of it was to put it under the side of the desk that's like over in this direction, um, which would make sense because it would fit there. However, I was obviously wrong about that. <laughs> Stuff like that is why I like I'm trying to get I try to get details, but if it didn't work, the outcome of just let me take care of it and me saying you know what okay led to me simply bringing it right outside the store. That way, it made it easier, made it simpler, but didn't get in the way of that mindset of an OCD person. Medically OCD. I'm gonna keep reiterating that because there's a large difference between people who just claim to be OCD and those who are actually OCD. Before I continue, let me point out directly what OCD is or what it means. Obsessive compulsive disorder is one of those things where it's considered very common, but the reason for this is more the fact that A lot, like, it's it's very common now, but if you rewind 15, 20 years, I can guarantee that statistic would change drastically in the more beneficial direction. Obsessive-compulsive disorder, or, again, OCD, cores from individuals who go through... This is just observant, by the way. It doesn't... It's not... Impl it's not the case with everyone. But I've noticed with everyone who I've met who are legitimately OCD, they have a tendency to go through very, 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 very tedious and difficult times in their own personal lives, building up to that point. Of the four individuals I've met who are OCD, three of them have showcased this. Now, like I said, this doesn't apply to everyone. But I will say this. Knowing someone who's OCD actually does enlighten. In a way, for those who are OCD, what I'm about to say, please take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt when you first hear it and let me finish this statement before uh, just taking it in as whatever you think you're going to take it in as. That being said... What I was going to say is that, in a way, OCD people are kind of like those who are autistic. Now, the reason I say this is because of the fact that autistic individuals, which I'll talk about more in depth in another video, are very, 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 very smart. Honestly, so are people who are OCD. Amber is one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. And I've met over... I've, I've met thousands of people at this point. I mean, for heaven's sake, my high school, if I remember correctly, had over 5,000 students. At the time I went, or at least started going, by the time I graduated, it was more than that. And for some weird reason, I always ended up meeting or getting to know most of the individuals. Which was kind of nice, but at the same time strange. But I digress. I guess the point I'm trying to make in this statement is that OCD individuals are smart, very, very smart and strategic, but not by their own choosing. They're very good with logic, which in turn 
makes them this kind of smart individual. This is why I originally said, how I just described it is why I said they're kind of like those with autism, is because autistic people, this is the only other thing I'm going to add about this, they are smart due to certain types of pieces of logic. Now, the type of logic is different. OCD individuals determine, it's based on the person, but from the, for the most part, of the four individuals, three of them, um, they were smart in a way where they would, it's kind of a puzzle solve, solving kind of smart, or process of elimination. kind of smart which is actually very 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 good and very helpful when it comes to the sense of cleanliness again like this room um it's why the room is still a mess amber is extremely smart on the in the sake of organization which is good for you know the fact that again she has obsessive compulsive disorder um but she does still see the reason and when the idea that we don't know where the that dresser that's supposed to be brought into here is going to go, the fact that we don't know where it's going to go off the bat says, yeah, you know what, it's a good idea to wait kind of thing. Because of the process of elimination is pretty much put on hold because we don't know what would be eliminated. Like what spots would be eliminated and what spots wouldn't. There's literally one location where this is not the case, and it's going to be right here, where this little table is. This is like the end of the table. That's where like things like this suitcase are going to end up going. That kind of stuff. That part's kind of a no-brainer. Anyway, I don't know. These are my thoughts about individuals about, with like OCD. This is probably going to be the first of a list, a long list of different dis diseases slash disorders, in this case disorder, that I'm going to speak about on this channel. I've talked about a lot of things um, psychologically, so why not go down the medical path, an interest that I've always had, and just give my own kind of personal thoughts and, from, and things I've learned about these different circumstances in the past through observation and experience. If you like this idea and you liked this video, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I will be creating a new playlist for uh, this particular type of series. Um, the playlist will probably be called be the 3Ds. Diseases, Disabilities, and Disorders. Want to check out that playlist? Once there are enough videos on it, click the link here. Or, if that's not quite floating your boat, why not click the link on the other side where you'll find something you may enjoy a bit more. For right now, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.